Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hangsters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory, 90 to 100 still photos of each car, a complete description, as well as these video presentations that we do for you. Our videos on YouTube stay up at all times between our two showrooms, whether the vehicle was sold a month ago or three years ago. Uh, we found that the feedback from our YouTube channel, people like watching our videos, seeing what kind of quality of vehicle goes through our showroom and what kind of year make models you know we get throughout each year. Um, however, on our website, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off the website letting you know that it's no longer available. We have an Instagram page here uh, in Daytona Beach now, uh, Hangsters Hot Rods Daytona Instagram, follow us. Um, this is where you're going to be able to find a sneak peek of new arrivals to come before they hit the website. Uh, we're going to post maybe little videos on there, little uh, blurbs of each uh, car. Um, so Instagram, that's where you're going to find uh, all the latest arrivals. Maybe you can get a jump on a, on a buyer. So looking underneath the hood of this vehicle, um, it looks pretty plain. The reason it does is because you are looking at a 1957 Dodge uh, D100 swept side. A very uh, fine looking automobile. It is white and Pacific blue. These, this car, uh, I'm sorry, this truck is of exceptional, exceptional quality. Uh, this was a mid year release by Dodge in 1957, and it was the answer to Chevrolet's uh, Cameo Carrier. This was the Dodge version. The paint quality on this truck is as close to a 10 as you can get. You know, if you take a look at the front bumper, the Dodge logo, the V in the center of the nose, the grill, everything, um, nothing is pitted, um, nothing is, um, you know, showing any age. It all looks to be brand new. The paint, the white, is absolutely spot on as you can get. I mean, no uh, cracking, um, no fading, no chips. This truck is of the upper echelon of quality of vehicles that we have through our showroom. Um, you can see chrome there separating the like uh, robin egg. Well, this is actually Pacific blue and then like a, a maybe an off white or it's not a gleaming white, but maybe a little bit of an off white color. Um, white sidewalls there. Um, you know, the, the proper wheels for the truck, the uh, 100 logo there on the driver's side front fender, which is the designation, of course, for the D100. Um, you do have a step panel there, um, you know, a running board, per se, to get into the driver's side of the truck. Uh, filler tube for the gas tank. Uh, driver's side mirror. Take a look at the quality on the windows. The huge front window that wraps around the sides. Uh, the vent windows seal up nice and tight. Um, all the, the uh, weather stripping around the windows and around the vent window are all of exceptional quality. Um, we're going to take a look in the truck. Check out the little uh, door lock cover there. Still intact, still functioning like it should. Pop open the uh, truck. Okay, we're going to unlock it first. That always helps. Now we're going to take a look in the truck. Bench seat. The interior is in great shape. The um, floor. It's just you know a rubber floor mat over what is a, a painted floor. Um, very basic steering wheel. The transmission. Push button. Neutral. There is no park. So you put it in neutral and um, pull the e-brake up to you know have a, it act as a park. Um, driver. Uh, reverse one and two of course. Um, no power steering, no power brakes. Very simple truck, but very, very uh, aesthetically pleasing truck. I mean, this truck is absolutely fantastic in looks, color, um, but it just completely. I can't wait till we do the test drive to see how many heads we turn in this one. So what Dodge did was they basically took a um, station wagon rear end and tacked it to the front of a pickup truck and then made a pickup truck bed out of it. So um, that's where you get the swept side uh, feature or name from. <clears throat> Check out those uh, tail lights and brake lights. Awesome, huh? Way ahead of their time. I mean, this is 1957 and, and look at the, uh, 
design and the, uh, the skill that, and the precision that went into designing this truck. Um, very cool. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper, same as on the front bumper. It's about as perfect as you can get. I don't know how much better you can get than that. Um, Dodge designation on the uh, tailgate there. Open up the tailgate, see if I can get that done. Okay. Paint quality on the tailgate itself. You got your bumpers there, rubber stoppers to uh, stop the tailgate from hitting the chrome bumper. Of course, wooden bed, and the wood's in absolutely fantastic condition. Check out the paint on the uh, insides of the tailgate there. I mean, nearly flawless. Close up the tailgate here. Look at the body lines down the side of the truck. I mean, it's absolutely astonishing, fantastic. Again, the paint quality, if, uh, in my opinion, this truck is a 10. I mean, come look at it yourself and you tell me. But uh, absolutely amazing paint job on this truck, fantastic. The passenger side is locked too. We keep the trucks locked. It's bike week here in Daytona and we get a lot of visitors through the showroom. Um, so we keep the doors locked on them. But uh, opening it up, um, check out the, there's not much to, of course, the door panel, just, you know, piece of uh, vinyl there. And then, of course, your uh, vinyl uh, armrest, handles, window cranks. I mean, look at the vent windows. Usually this is what is all, like, deteriorated and chrome pitted, but these are absolutely fantastic and in great condition. Um, we'll check out uh, the interior closer there when we go ahead and get a uh, test drive in here. But um, absolutely fantastic truck. Door fitment's fantastic. Um, again, the 100 designation there on the uh, passenger side front fender. Um, tires on the truck are fantastic. Expensive tires, expensive wheels. Really, really fine piece. Um, that's about the only paint imperfection on the whole truck right there. Somebody has brush touched the front fender there. I don't, or um, you know, top of the headlight front fender, whatever you want to call it. But uh, that's about it. I mean, it's, it's as close to new as you can get. Um, so here at our uh, Daytona Beach showroom, we really pride ourselves on selling driver quality cars, um, cars that are meant to be uh, purchased and enjoyed and driven and kind of tinkered with by their owners. Um, this is what we would consider approaching a concourse quality uh, level vehicle. Um, so this isn't for every buyer. Um, this is probably going to be a very specific collector um, that's going to be interested in this truck. Um, this is not a truck really to, uh, I mean, I guess you can buy it uh, and take it to the local car show, of course, but uh, this is kind of a truck um, for the collector or the enthusiast out there that's really looking for a nice, solid piece of history um, that is of the upper echelon of, of pickup trucks. And we're going to show you more um, as to why I'm making that statement as we... Uh, proceed throughout the video. So right now, let's take it out on the rack and throw it in the air. I'll show you the uh, fantastic undercarriage of this 1957 Dodge Swept Side pickup truck. Okay, I'm going to shoot this video and hope not to knock myself in the head because we got the truck up as high as it'll go on the lift with the uh, extensions and um, this is it. So, um, the oil pan and the size of the oil, uh, uh, size of the motor are nice and dry. Um, drum brakes all the way around, um, very simplistic underneath just as it is on the top. Uh, we do have, we wiped it off, okay, but we have a little tiny bit of transmission fluid on every, well, almost every single bolt. It wasn't leaking onto the floor, it's just, it probably needs a new transpan gasket. Um, the truck has been sitting in a collection for the, a, a long while, and as I told you guys, the longer these things sit, um, and don't get run, O-rings, gaskets, seals, they're going to fail, they're going to crack, they're going to dry out. It's just the nature of the beast when you're in the classic car hobby. So um, just to let you know that, it does need a new transpan gasket, which we will put on. That's not a problem. Um, cross members in good shape. Frame rails on the truck are in great shape. Uh, I forgot to mention this to you guys earlier, but I want to let you know this. there was only 1,050 of these trucks made. And you can imagine how many are probably still in existence. So it makes it extremely collectible um, and an extremely rare uh, piece of history and a beautiful piece of history. So 
Um, I'm typically we you know paint our exhaust and stuff. Uh, we're not going to do it on this one simply because you know this is kind of how the truck's been for the last however long. It was a complete frame off restoration. Um, I don't have the documentation as to what year, but you've already seen kind of the quality um, of the truck up top, and now you're seeing the quality of the vehicle underneath. So really fine uh, Dodge swept side pickup. Check out the uh, wood at the bottom of the bed. Um, that is oak. So uh, it's nice and clean, not rotted. Um, none of the frame rails are rusty. Check out the... Uh, exemplary quality of the frame um, just what a piece look at the insides of the fenders there on both sides uh, check out the back of the bumper all the chrome on the back of the bumper is real nice and clean uh, rear ends real clean nice right 1957 Dodge swept side rare rare piece uh, extremely collectible and obviously a truck that any of us would be absolutely positively proud to own so um, don't just take my word for it especially on a truck that we're going to be asking uh, this amount of money for come on into our showroom here located in daytona beach we have a 25,000 square foot indoor showroom uh, where we house 70 vehicles uh, we are not a consignment dealership um, so all the cars you see in the building are for sale uh, we own them so um Take a look at this truck. Uh, take a look at it on the lift, just like we're doing right now. Um, pull it out in the sunshine. Uh, we'll let you drive it. Um, let you look look the car over. You know whether it's this truck that you're interested in or any piece of truck in our inventory. Uh, financing. Yes, we uh, do offer financing. We work with three different collector car lenders that will make your dream come true if you need financing and you're not a cash buyer. Um, they will do up to a 10-year loan with approved credit. 10% down and the remaining balance over five, seven, or 10 years, um, whatever you get approved for. No prepayment penalty. So if you take it out for 10 years and pay it off in two, you're in good shape. They aren't gonna uh, knock your head off for any kind of a prepayment penalty. So uh, that's a great thing. Let's set this truck down, um, take it out on the road, and see if we can turn some heads. Uh, no power steering, no power brakes. We do have wipers. Um, there's not much to show you. You got a flamethrower here. You got uh, your heat, your lights, your push button transmission, um, manual crank windows. Look, the cool little uh, courtesy light works. There is no radio, glove compartment. Now, um, you got your high and low beam in the floor. Now, I cannot find turn signals on this thing anywhere, so I'm going to venture to say it doesn't have it. I can't imagine that, but I looked underneath, I looked on the dash, up top, underneath here, not on the column, beats me. So um, I'll have to have the guys look into that and see uh, where the turn signals might be, or where the switch might be, because I've looked for it for about 15 minutes and I can't freaking find it. But we have oil pressure, temp's good, amp, and uh, fuel. I just put 15 bucks worth of fuel in it, and the fuel gauge does register, and the speedometer works. So um, I was just sitting in neutral, no parking brake, but uh, drive. Feel that? Truck going to drive, and then away we go. Really awesome looking truck, huge steering wheel. This is definitely from the 50s, for sure. Wait till this car passes. Now I'm worried about getting smacked in the ass end because I don't have any turn signals. Or I don't think I have any turn signals. So, uh, it drives like a truck. But uh, this thing is fantastic to look at. And really fun to drive, to be honest with you. I love these push button transmissions. You know, we've had many of them through here and I, I just think they're cool. The fact that they were doing that kind of thing back in the 50s and the 60s, really awesome. It's not your typical uh, test drive video. We'll take it on a little drive and show you how the transmission shifts and kind of uh, show you the truck a little bit. Beautiful, uh, huge window to look out of. 
like I said, we'll get a uh, lot of attention in this thing. This is not a, a truck. I guarantee you that people are going to be looking when we drive by. What a nice ride. Really cool. Speedometer is functioning. It's not bouncing all over the place. Might be a, a tad slow. We're doing probably 40 miles per hour right now. It's reading about 30, but. There's a, a little bit of a difference, right? That's probably a what? 2019 2020 truck and we're driving a 1957 and in my opinion this one looks a whole lot sweeter to be honest with you a lot of uh, big steering wheels so it takes a lot to move this thing but uh, really nice running nice riding truck Step on it a little bit here. Just blew by this bow tie next to us. Then it'll come up to a red light here. No power brakes. So we're going to step on the brake pedal. Truck stops pretty nice. Um, no pulsation whatsoever. You know, you don't have to slam your foot to the floor to get this big rig to stop. I'm sure that. There is a lot of sheet metal here, so I'm sure this truck, you know, is well over the 4,000 pound mark. Listen to it run, though. It's not stalling out. It's not spitting, sputtering, choking. What a beautiful piece of history. 1957 Dodge swept side pickup truck. For all you Dodge Mopar guys out there, this would be a beautiful uh, piece to have in your collection. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. I'm sure there will be at least 90 photos of this truck up today, if not uh, a couple more. Hangsters.com is our website. That's where you can find all the photos of this truck. On a complete description and a uh, video presentation that we uh, do for you right now. At full price, this beautiful 1957 Dodge swept side pickup includes shipping to you anywhere in the lower 48 United States. And it also includes a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty on the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. Is the price of the truck negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the truck, then we also negotiate the price of the shipping and the warranty if you choose to want the warranty. We would love to earn your business, add you to our uh, growing customer base throughout the United States and throughout the world. So uh, for those of you in Canada, Switzerland, Sweden, Australia, New Zealand, we have exported many, many vehicles. Um, we have the uh, all the connections to do so and make that easy too. So if you're uh, watching this video out of the United States, we can handle all that for you as well. Hangsters.com. We are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. We're coming up on springtime here. We'd love to have you to our showroom, and we'd love to have you as a customer. Again, check us out. Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida.